Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rana. Today is the 16th of March 2018 and we're going to reflect on John chapter 7 verses 1 to 2, verse 10 and 25 to 30. Listen. After this Jesus went about in Galilee. He did not wish to go about in Judea because the Jews were looking for an opportunity to kill him. Now the Jewish festival of Boots was near. But after his brothers had gone to the festival, there he also went, not publicly, but as it were in secret. Now some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, Is not this the man whom they are trying to kill? And here he is, speaking openly, but they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Messiah? Yet we know where this man is from, but when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. Then Jesus cried out as he was teaching in the temple, You know me, and you know where I am from. I have not come on my own, but the one who sent me is true, and you do not know him. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. Then they tried to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him because his hour had not yet come. Yet many in the crowd believed in him and were saying, when the Messiah comes, will he do more signs than this man has done? The Gospel of the Lord. The Festival of Boots, also called the Feast of the Tabernacles, is one of three Jewish festivals on which the Israelites were commanded to perform a pilgrimage to the temple. Jesus tells his family to go on ahead, and he follows later, in secret, because he knew the Jews were looking to kill him. However, once he was there, he went straight to the temple and started to preach. The people were surprised because they knew that Jesus was on the hit list. But even as they admired his bravery, they wondered why nobody stopped him. Could it be, they asked, that the authorities know that Jesus is the Messiah? Did the authorities know? One suspects they did, but fearing the loss of spiritual and political domination if Jesus was recognized as the Messiah, they tried to kill him. Not long after this, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said, It is better to have one man die for the people than to have the whole nation destroyed. What is it about power that makes people want to retain it at all costs, to the point of murder? The same thing can be seen in church organizations today where people who have risen to the roles of leadership cling to them with a desperation that rivals the Saddams and Al-Assads of the world. This is crazy. We should know better. We know Jesus is the Messiah. Let us acknowledge him to be our king and hand over the reins we hold into his hands. He is wiser and more knowledgeable than the best of us and is the only person in the world capable of wielding power sensibly. And we will be the better for it. Don't you think? God bless you.